What do you think is the most badass animal on Earth? A lithe cheetah taking down a rhino 20 times its own weight? Or a carefree honey badger chewing on a venomous snake and napping off the toxin? While these and more are experts in their field, there is another animal, one you might never have even heard of, that leaves all others in the dust when it comes to sheer survival. It's called a tardigrade. With eight legs ending in sharp hooked claws and a sucker-like mouth with dagger-sharp teeth, they sound like the stuff of nightmares. But don't worry, they're only a millimetre long and strangely cute, earning their other names water bears or moss piglets. You'll find one of their 900 species most places you find water, from the bottom of a lake to the moss on your roof. They take life easy, something that their name tardigrades references. It means slow steppers because that's just what they do. So far, so cute. But tardigrades have got so much more hiding beneath that plump, wriggling exterior. They are, in fact, virtually indestructible. Even though they, like all other living creatures, need water to survive and reproduce, they found a way to do it without it when they need to. Because the hazard of living in the moss on your roof is that sometimes the moss dries up. Without water, a tardigrade has a remarkable ability to dry itself out, curling itself up into a dry husk called a tonne and slowing its metabolism by a factor of 10,000. In this dry, lifeless state, they can survive without a drop of water for weeks, months, years, even decades. Then, when conditions are moister, they rehydrate, boot back up and carry on as if nothing had happened. Surviving the occasional dry spell makes sense when you're a water-loving animal living on land. But what doesn't make sense is the tardigrade's other super survival skills. They can survive when it's hot, and I mean really, really hot. Experimenters expose them to temperatures of more than 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes or so, and they came back to life and carried on as if nothing had happened. They can survive when it's cold too, and I mean unbelievably, ridiculously cold, chilling them down to minus 272.8 degrees Celsius. That's just about as cold as it gets, a smidge above absolute zero. At this temperature, even atoms stop vibrating in place, they've got so little energy. So what happened to the tardigrades when they came back from the deep freeze? Well, they carried on as if nothing had happened. They can survive crushing pressures too. The highest pressure found on Earth is at the bottom of the Marianas Trench in the Pacific Ocean at around 100 megapascals. For most animals, fats clump together and DNA is damaged about a third of the way down. But scientists found that tardigrades could withstand not only the intense pressure at the bottom, but a further six times more at 600 100 megapascals. And when they returned to more normal pressures, guess what? They carried on as if nothing had happened. They can even survive the cold vacuum of space. Now, not navigating the mycelial network, but hitching a ride on the outside of a satellite. In 2008, European scientists sent a package of 3,000 dried up tardigrades into low Earth orbit for 10 days, where they experienced cold temperatures, incredibly low pressures, and a dangerous bombardment of cosmic radiation. Not all of them made it, but some survived the full exposure to the sun's UV light, which is 1,000 times stronger in space than on Earth. And when they were rehydrated back on Earth, they just carried on as if nothing happened. Yeah, it is absolutely astounding the range of environment that the tardigrades can survive. Scientists call them extremophiles, extreme lovers for this very reason. Other extremophiles do exist, but few have the ability to withstand such a wide range of conditions and yet still choose to live in the most innocuous of places. The fact that they can hunker down and weather through conditions much more extreme than you'd find on Earth does raise the question though, why? Are they a tiny alien master race that have survived the trip from the stars to retire peacefully on the moss on our roofs? 
Do they possess supernatural powers? In fact, the secret to their survival might be something a lot more elegant. Since water bears live in moist environments that can and often do dry up, they needed to adapt to occasional desiccation in order to survive. They have a cocktail of chemical mechanisms that kick in to protect their cells and their DNA when water is scarce. But all of those other extreme conditions I've mentioned also risk damaging their cells and DNA. It's this damage that would kill a lesser animal, while the tardigrade has its chemical cocktail to keep it safe. So it's likely that a necessary adaptation to a hot, dry summer on your roof also gave them the toolkit they needed to survive pretty much anywhere, making them, without a doubt, the hardest animal in the universe. Had you heard about the tardigrade and its crazy survival skills? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged for amazing nature and science videos. I'll see you next time.